This week could see the launch of the first Bitcoin ETF in the USA, with a 90% chance it's going to be approved by the Securities and Exchanges Commission or the SEC. The Bitcoin Futures Strategies ETF is set to go on sale today, which could likely be later in the week, and it'll trade under the ticker symbol BITO. This has got a lot of investors questioning what is it and should I buy it? Today, I'll give you my take on it, what it is, and break down whether I think it's worth buying or not. So I'm sure, as most of you know, an ETF or an exchange traded fund is a way for you to capture a part of a particular market. So like another one would with tech or oil, this one would be a cryptocurrency ETF, which would hope to make cryptocurrency more accessible to the general market. Now this isn't a new idea. People have been trying to get a Bitcoin ETF approved for over eight years. The first of which was by the Winklevoss twins, which was denied by the US financial watchdog they said there's still significant investor problems that need to be investigated. BITO appears to be the first in a wave of Bitcoin future-based ETFs. We've got Valkyrie Investments, Investco and Vanek likely to be cleared this month. Followed by Galaxy Digital, we've got Bitwise, we've got BlockFi, and everyone's favourite, ARK Investments, coming by the end of the year, as long as they get approved. So why would a Bitcoin ETF be a good thing? Well, a Bitcoin ETF could help Bitcoin reach that price of $100,000, which everyone's hoping for. First pro of a Bitcoin ETF is that it makes it way more accessible to everyone. It's way more accessible for the everyday investor to buy cryptocurrency. They haven't got to worry about how to set an account, how to hold it, and how to store it. They can just buy the ETF and that's all they need to do. It would also build trust in cryptocurrency, which is kind of lacking for the general investor. So that would be a really nice thing to happen. It takes away the fear of these crazy words like blockchains and words that they don't understand for the everyday investor. And instead they can just buy one ETF. But the main benefit of Bitcoin ETFs would be there's a lot of money tied up in retirement accounts and tax-free savings accounts that currently you can't use to buy cryptocurrency. If you're able to buy a Bitcoin ETF instead, we could get access to some of that money, which would bring so much more money into the cryptocurrency market, which you might see as a good or a bad thing depending on how much you like cryptocurrency. But what we need to recognize about this ETF is it's not a true Bitcoin ETF. It's a Bitcoin futures ETF. And the SEC alluded to this earlier this year that they would favor that over a traditional Bitcoin ETF. So a futures ETF isn't a real ETF. It's based on buying futures contracts. So what that means is essentially you're not buying and holding physical Bitcoin. You're actually betting on the future price of Bitcoin. So you're saying by this date, Bitcoin will be this price and that's what you're betting on. And that might consist of loads of different contracts, but essentially that's what it'd be made up of, not individual cryptocurrencies. Now the approval of a Bitcoin futures ETF is kind of a half victory in the eyes of cryptocurrencies holders, Really, people want a true ETF that tracks the accurate price of cryptocurrency day to day. And that future at the moment is quite uncertain. But in my opinion, there's no denying that that's going to come at one point or another. Well, there's a few good things about the futures ETF for everyday investors. The first is that it avoids market volatility. For an everyday investor, they won't have to stomach the same amount of volatility that we would holding individual cryptocurrencies. And that's because you're betting on the future price, so you would see a much more stable return. It's also really good for those who are unsure about how to buy cryptocurrency Currency. It's also good because the everyday investor doesn't have to worry about security and how to properly secure their crypto wallet. The other benefit, of course, is that you could hold that Bitcoin futures ETF within a tax-free wrapper. Because at the moment, cryptocurrency is subject to tax. Mark Cuban has come out and said he's not going to be buying these ETFs because he can just directly buy cryptocurrency. And he says that he sees Bitcoin as more of a store of value than an actual currency. And he's previously said that he sees Bitcoin as being a better gold than gold. Now I do agree that I can see Bitcoin as being a much better store of value at the moment than something like currency. And that's because I think the price hasn't leveled out, which I think definitely has to happen for everyday people to use as a currency. They don't want to see the bank balance going up and down like a yo-yo. Now this futures ETF, could definitely help the price of Bitcoin. And let me tell you how. The reason it's gonna do so is hedging. So big firms are gonna come along and buy this ETF, but they're gonna hedge their investments and buy the actual cryptocurrency. So if this does the opposite, this will counterbalance it. So that could see massive surges in the price of Bitcoin. And it's important to note that real Bitcoin ETFs actually do exist. There's a Canadian one that's come out called Purpose ETF, but it has been criticized for the management fees. We're definitely over the next few years gonna see more and more of these come out. But in the meantime, you could just buy an average of the top 10 cryptocurrencies. And that way you're not gonna face any kind of management fees. Or what I think could personally be more attractive 
is investing in companies that could benefit massively by the rise in cryptocurrency. And you'd be surprised at some of the companies that will rise. I'm gonna do a video covering some top picks that will benefit from cryptocurrency. So if you're not already, do subscribe because that one will be really interesting. Well, what do I think? Will I be buying this? And is it something that's on my radar? Well, a huge appeal to me with something like this is the tax-free element. So if I'm able to wrap this within my tax-free account, then actually I'm gonna benefit in tax-free gains on crypto. But at the moment, I don't hold enough crypto to go over my kind of tax allowance, so I won't pay tax on the gains I make anyway. I'm definitely gonna be keeping a close eye on this space, looking out for those great ETFs that come out. Maybe the ARK one could be fantastic, we just don't know. I think by the end of the year, we'll have a much clearer picture on which Bitcoin ETF to go for. So I definitely think we need to watch this space. I will be adding some more companies that will benefit from cryptocurrency to my portfolio. But in the meantime, I think we need to realize that whatever we think about cryptocurrency, it is important to have some of it in our portfolio because if it does gain to these massive prices in the future, we're literally going to be kicking ourselves that we didn't invest sooner. Personally, I'll definitely be investing in cryptocurrencies because I think they've got such a big place in the future. Do me a favor and smash that like button because it helps so much. If you want to check out my portfolio, please do so. And if you also want to see how I'm getting over 150% APR on the Pylon protocol, that one is also really interesting to watch. So thanks again, and I'll see you guys over there.